Hi guys, Nukes Plays here with another playthrough, this time Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. Now I don't know anything about this game other than, uh, as when I was booting up here it said it features uh, representations of psychosis, uh, which was helped from actual medical doctors and people who'd had psychosis, so I don't know what part that plays, I don't know whether it looks kind of Viking-y. Um, literally don't know anything about it, so let's just head straight on in and see what happens. So part one of Hellblade, Senior Sacrifice, here we go. It's a long loading screen for an Xbox One game. I, I want to say this came out this year, um, but it seems weird that it would be so recent yet beyond the Game Pass thing, but I don't know. Okay, still waiting. That's fine. Hello. Who are you? <sighs> Doesn't matter. Welcome. Safe with me. I'll be right here, nice and close, so I can speak without alerting the others. Let me tell you about Senua. Now her story has already come to an end, but now it begins anew. What's happening? It's breathing. Dead. It's breathing. It's breathing. Journey deep into darkness. There will be no more stories after this one. What is she doing? Why is she doing this? They're watching. What is she doing? She's doing this for him. She wants to rescue him. He's already I don't feel you coming. Shh. Quiet. Oh, how rude of me. I never told you of the others. You hear them too, right? They've been around ever since the tragedy. Well, that's not quite true. Some are old, some are new, but they've changed. I think the darkness changed them just like it changed her. Can you see them? Look, up ahead. You see it too. You promised you came. Yes, it is real after all. She's finally arrived in the land of mist and fog, the place the Northmen call Hell. Can you feel it? 
What is she thinking? I can tell you. She's afraid. Wouldn't you be? You'd think she would get used to it by now after so many years. But the darkness... It just builds onto itself, growing stronger, towering over her. You might try and ignore it. Turn away. It's always there, just out of sight, where you're most vulnerable. It's like it knows that just enough light is all you need to see its suffocating power. You might think she's brave to go on this journey on her own. But it isn't bravery that drives her. Bravery only means something to those afraid of death. Said it was fear runs far, far deeper. There's no going back. You can't do it. Senua pushes away a world that conspired to cause so much suffering. There's nothing to go back to, and worse to look forward to. Why don't you join us? Maybe you too have a part to play in this story. Okay, so here we go, now we're in control. Um, so that was weird. Um, pretty cool. The tone, obviously, pretty great. Now I guess we're just off to fend for ourselves. Look really clearly. Focus, Inwa. Focus. Focus and you'll see. What happens if you focus? Do not forget my story, Senua. Because your darkness comes from hell, and your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take. Do not forget my story, Senua. Okay, you have to hold it, okay. Because your darkness comes from hell, and your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hella's gate. But gods and the living. I'll follow this path. You must leave the Isles of Orkney across the Eastern Sea and find a road that leads north and down through deep, dark valleys. After nine nights of riding, you will follow a great river and will find a bridge covered in gold. The path to Helheim goes from there, across the River of Knives that flows from the dark world of Niflheim. Okay, there you go. Thanks a lot to the uh, tombstone or whatever it is. Can we run? Yes, okay, left bumper is to run. Right bumper as of yet doesn't do anything. I 
feel like we're not meant to go in the water. But it doesn't seem like there's anywhere else to go, but it looked like we were like dying when we were in the water. Saying lot because I have no this time. idea what to make of it. Like I don't really know what the hell is happening. Yeah. That's a pretty cool like visual thing. The land of mist and fog. The old fool was right. What was it he said? The river of knives across which lies the halls of hell. The place they call Hellheim. Okay, so it seems like we're doing it for her dead husband. Oh, like that. Like a sidestep. That's cool. The bridge to Helheim. I forget its name. She forgets too. But she does remember that only the dead. That part wasn't so easy to forget. The old fool said there was a hidden path up to it. Let's see, shall we? Okay, there's another tombstone thing. M. This time. The Northmen speak of nine worlds. The world of men they call Midgard. Sky gods dwell in Asgard. The gods of earth, harvest, wind, and sea dwell in Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire giants dwell in Muspelsheim. Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. Only the dead dwell in Helheim. And that is where you must travel. Hopefully it's not going to be like a test on all these uh, names and stuff. So up the stairs we go. It's not that much of a, a hidden... Go on, climb it. X, okay. So they've gone for like the minimalist... Um, 
pod. You don't know where you're going. No. Okay, carry on through the cave. And I'm assuming we'll come out and be able to walk across to where you are. Where are we? Why did she do that? She should that can't be. She can't go back now. <laughs> no, this is it. The hidden path. Okay. Okay, so find one like it to open the gate, which to me suggests we need to find that symbol or something. Okay, there it is. It's near. Focus, and you will find it. Look towards the gate, and the gate will open. The gate is open. Go through the gate. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. What's behind the gate? Where will it take you? It's the work. Okay, so red means bad, blue is good. That's pretty I easy spent to remember. six years enslaved in hell. But I watched the Northmen. Learned their ways. I know you did. You listen? When everyone else laughed. My people paid the heavy price. Carry my stories with you, and together we will make the Northmen feel our fury! Okay, so I feel like we're gonna get like puzzles and stuff in it. Another voice. Which I'm up. guessing are gonna be harder she than that. Try to make them go away. Um, you know, puzzles are always fun. Like Sam Hill has some fun what puzzles. Brothers was basically here. all puzzles, even though they were yes, always pretty the easy. Heights. You can stand on the edge, pretend it's going to be okay, but you know that death is near, waiting for you to make that little slip. You can't just wish. Okay, so I don't know if the way you move the thumbstick, like impacts her movement but it didn't seem like it apart from that like one bit but that seems scripted so I'm not sure is ruled by the giant whether meant to like hold it Hela, straight to cross over or what. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side and yet much worse on her father's. So as a child the all father cast her down into Helheim and gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship and self-slaughter. It says hardship. In all of the nine worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. To Hela, your Dillion was sacrificed. And with her, you must bargain. 
Okay, so we have to find Hella and bargain for our late husband's uh, soul. Life. Same thing. I would prefer if you could just like walk at stuff and then she should interact with it, but I guess not. So, okay, I guess we just drop down again. Okay, automatic crouching. Now, is this going to be like another exploratory, exploratory? Oh, the fight begins. Stay back. Look at it. You have to the first time. The gate to Helheim divides the living from the dead. Is that the face of Hela herself? The half rotten goddess that rules over Helheim. Whatever horrors lie behind that door, she must find him. Looks like one of them. You took him from me. Virtual, uh, like projections from like Mass Let Effect or something. When you go to, like the Citadel. Let him go. I'll give you what you want. I won't resist anymore. Okay, so I feel like this is her talking to Just give Hella. Her. So maybe Hella runs the, the darkness that like she she lives in. <laughs> Button introduced at some point, or whether we literally spam X every time. But right now it seems to be working. Tell me how to defend then. I know this is like the start of Silent Hill where you're meant to just get hit. And there's nothing you can do about it. It is rot. 
And now it has taken hold. It will spread towards her head, the seed of the soul, until there is nothing left of her. All of her suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time. interesting right <laughs> oh that sucks some shit at these kind of games so. I do like the low how like up until then they've been like trying to deliver everything the hardest battles are fought in the mind through gameplay and everything and right there they say like big words to tell you the, the deal here with every defeat, the dark Don't rot let, will grow so the more you and die, will take her soul. The further her darkness spreads, and if it gets to her head, then she's dead, and I'm fucked, basically. But for now, okay. at least she still has control of her mind. And she will fulfill her vow. Whatever the cost. So does that mean we can't save, or does it have auto-saving? I wonder how that works. See, now I'm scared. Now I'm, that, Listen, that worries me. The goddess Hela lies behind the gate to Helheim. To open the gate, you must first face the gods that guard it. The god of fire, Surt, and the god of illusion, Van Raven. Spill their blood to open the gate to Helheim and Soot enter and the land of the dead. So, okay, let's go and talk to this. It won't open. How will she get through? Why won't it open? The Northmen say that in the beginning there was nothing but darkness. Bitter cold to the north, fiery hot to the south. They say the cold <laughs> formed ice, which melted from the sparks from the south. The power of the darkness gave life to the dripping ice, and the first giant was born, and was named Emir. The ice continued to drip, and the power of the void gave life to it, and it became a cow whose milk fed the giant. That's right, a cow, but you weren't expecting that. Okay, that was random, that was like humour. Whereas it just seems like it's going to be like a dark... Yeah. Okay, so I wonder how many fails it gives you. Because it already looks like it's halfway up a forearm or something. So that only means you've got like five lives if it continues like that. Okay, so we've got left or right. So let's go for... I'll close my eyes and spin around. Four, three, two, one, you. Okay, so whichever one's closest to that, which is the red one. So we're doing this. Valraven, ancestor of the seers and master of ravens. He hunts his prey with his powers of illusion and feasts on their remains. At least if I die here, I can't wait. Valraven and it's not that hard to, to, to earn his mark. The gate Get back to this to point. Helheim cannot be opened without it. Hopefully, they're going to teach me how to block. And also, where did she get that sword from? Unless it's just like a imaginary thing or something. Oh, we've got like um, Blair Witch slash True Detective stick. Made things. So now do we go left through here? Or actually it looks like there's only another letter thing. Emir was a frost giant, a being of darkness. And all his sons and grandsons were dark after him. 
of his daughters and granddaughters. Some were monstrous, but others fair. But there was another who came from the ice. Burry. In shape, he was like a man, big and powerful. His son, Bor, took a fair giant to be his wife. And they had three sons. Odin was the eldest, and the Northmen hold him to be the foremost of the gods, the Old Father. Okay, so this thing, I just noticed we have... It like, kind of tells you which one you're up to. You see here Nemo how... was a frost giant, a being of darkness. It goes on, so and that means that there's... Sons and grandsons. A lot father. of these things. Actually, not that many. If we've already done and four, and we're like half an hour in, that means. Fair. Yeah, well, whatever. But there was another who came from the ice. Oh, you don't have to stay and look at Hurry. it. That's helpful. Shape, okay, at least we learned like that. Man, That's good. Big and so off we go to. His son, Bor, Val, took a fair Val Raven. His wife. And they had three sons. Odin was the eldest. The so this is where you get to know if you, you miss one. Although I wonder if you have to get like everyone to um, like progress as well, or whether it's just I don't know. We'll see what happens. I do love that like sidestep jog thing. It's pretty great. All right, so we have the door thing here, but we also have like area here. Well, it also looks like it's blocked off by rocks, which it is. Let's see if there's. Because you know me, I like to look around and try and explore stuff. Even if there's like nothing there. What's that? It's a wall. It's a door. No, it's a bitch. No, it's not. Push it. Push it. Push it. Down. What do you think will happen? Come on. She did it. She did it. She did it. So the question is is that the side? Bit thing, or is that the main thing? That, that's the trouble that you get. Because I want to explore like the kind of extra stuff before we do the main thing we're meant to do. Focus. Focus. So let's see if this is the. Uh... Illusion hides the path to Balravan. Don't trust your eyes. Find another way to see the truth. Open. We all want to see behind the veil, don't we? But once we do, we mostly just close our eyes again and pretend what we saw was never really there. And also, because there's no hood, we don't have a health bar. So, I don't know how many hits it is until we lose more, which isn't good. That's what my, one of my questions is going to be. That's what I was leading to. I was like, are we... Is it going to be like combat or is it just purely... Exploring? But I think we've got our answer when we're getting fucked up by some... Giant... Tribal... Men swords. Push this. Darkness is coming again. This is the price she pays for seeing things differently. Because once you gaze into the relentless darkness, all that lurks within it can see you too. I'll have 
another pile of bodies over here. Be working. Alright, we've got another one. So it kind of seems just like get in before it gets you, kind of thing, which is weird. It's like if you smash it, you'll really, just survive every time. And I wonder if there's a way to heal as well, like if you do get. Fuck. Fuck. See, look. Oh, fuck. Okay. Right bumper. They told me that. Hopefully that's working. I think it is. Oh, sweet. Oh. So now if you have to hit like right at the right time. It seems like it does block it, but you don't get a counter like you do if you kind of hold off on doing it a bit. Okay, so we survived that. Stop her. She will find what she's looking for. So I wonder if these, um, what if it, like they're gods or something. Uh Girls and Chief it like line something up there to Val Raven's so power of illusion comes from ravens. Align the ravens to break his magic seal. Oh, okay, Show so me then things will make beats. I get it. Line the rings. So does that mean if we just like move back? No, let's go to we go over here and then turn. I'm trying to look at this thing up here. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so. Okay, more area over here. Okay, maybe we have to go up there and then look down on it or something. Okay, so it's pretty much just aligning things every time. Okay. So if that's it, and we just go straight to the bad guy, that's okay or not? I guess that's like an indicator of how quickly these. Areas are world. gonna be. I'm guessing you're gonna need to like complete like a challenge, or like some areas, and then you get to the Where the, the boss of that itself. kind of path you've just been on. So there's more here again. 
So Okay, the symbol's not there anymore, so I guess we have to find the door. And then look at it. And then that'll give us the symbol. It's not safe. Don't listen to them. Listen, listen, don't. To break the seal. Align the ravens with the mark of Valraven. Stairs over there. That makes sense. And that's pretty cool, like the eyeballs. It's because he was behind the rock, so that makes sense. Sound design again is really good. There's been like a common a common theme of the last few games I've played, so that the sound's been really great. Okay, just checking around the areas again, see if there's anything I missed. I'm guessing when we go around the trees and like a skeleton again. There you go. I'm just wondering if, if there's any use in coming along the riverbed, seeing as how we could. But I guess not. Oy. See, uh, linear games suit me incredibly well because you know, we don't get the whole let's run around like an idiot. Not knowing what we're meant to be doing. Now that we've seen him, 
Okay, no. Do we just run back? Seems kind of redundant, but let's see if that works. Well, let's go back to the area that we started in. And if that doesn't work, then I don't know. Okay, there's another thing up there, and that's where he is, so can we get to... So we have to go through that gate and it'll open the door. Okay, there's a little thing here. Okay, this is where we came in. Maybe? I was thinking maybe we could go right this time, but it looks like there's a thing. What about if we just continue now? Um. Okay, you know what? We've gone long enough for this one, so I'll make it. I'll make this in a part one, and part two will uh, carry on with Val Raven. And um, yeah. Okay. So cool. All right. So thanks for watching, and hopefully next time I'll figure out what to do. So thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Stay awesome. All that stuff. Like and subscribe. Blah blah blah. And catch you next time when we hopefully face Val Raven. And maybe that's Suter, uh, however you say it. So, uh, yeah, thanks a lot. See you guys next time for part two. So, sorry this ended kind of shittily, but, you know, that's because I suck. So, see you guys next time. Thanks a lot.